everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video we're going to be previewing the first day of the Epsom Festival where you've got the Oaks and the Derby over the next couple of days and we'll be previewing every race on the Oaks card tomorrow, all seven races where I'll be giving you my thoughts and feelings on each of those races and I'll be giving you a selection for all of those races. So hopefully I can point you in the direction of a couple of winners. Before we get stuck into uh, those selections, I just want to reflect on how today's selections run. Not too bad, again we've been in some good form over the last couple of days. We had a nice two winners up today with Logie at Hamilton winning really nicely uh, for uh, Jamie Gormley and Rebecca Basterman. And we also had a nice winner with Hint of Grey, which was a very commanding performance by Adam Kirby aboard for Gary Moore, who stayed with him in really good form. And that was a nice performance there. Tipped up at 5-1 to one last night. So we've been in pretty good form of late and hopefully we can continue that form into tomorrow's racing. And we start off with the first race at Epsom tomorrow in the 2 o'clock, the Woodcote Stakes. It's a horse we're going for here called it's the only way trained by Richard Hannon very good powerful stable to follow Ryan Moore top bo jockey booking booked for the ride this horse has already got two wins under its belt it won on its first ever start in a race at Brighton earlier this year where the second horse pocket dynamo of Robert Cow went over to France and won a listed race so the form of that race worked out well it went then went to Kempton and it won and last time out only finished in fourth place at Newbury but it was behind a good horse of Aidan O'Brien's called the Irish Rover and it ran a respectable race that day and I thought it was six to one tomorrow he was definitely a good each way bet and even though yes it is a little bit of an open race there's a few nice types in here I thought he could be a massive player in the race considering his jockey booking powerful yard and I thought at the prices he wasn't bad at six to one. We then go to the two thirty five, a very competitive handicap, but one I liked at a price here from an each way angle was a horse called Mythical Madness. Around about eleven to one best odds I've seen out there at the moment. Trained by David O'Meara, James Doyle booked for um the ride. I think he's gonna have a good next couple of days. This horse uh, ran fairly well in a race last time out where even though, yes, it didn't show too much, it wasn't that far beaten, and the race has worked out not too badly. You've had the horse called Love Dreams of Mark Johnston win last week at Goodwood, and you've also had a horse called Barrowies, which uh, won for Brian Allison again at Chester at the weekend. So the form of that race has worked out not too badly, and Mythical Madness ran a pretty good uh, race uh, in this race last year, finishing second at Epsom. So he knows how to go well, and I thought tomorrow this was a bit more of an easier opportunity compared to its last race when it ran so I thought in 11 to 1 he wasn't a bad each way bet and he's going to be my selection there we then go to the Coronation Cup for the 310 and no surprise here we're going to be uh, going for Cracksman which I know it is an odds on favourite and it's around about 2 to 7 best odds at the moment trained by John Gosden Frankie Dettori booked for the ride in the colours of Oppenheimer and I thought tomorrow it was the one they all had to beat. It won really nicely on its reappearance at Longchamp over in France. So it was a nice performance there. Had some really good form, especially towards the back end of last season. And even though it didn't win the derby last year, it still ran a respectable race in that derby. So we know it can handle Epsom. If I had to go maybe one against, I thought Hawkbill was an interesting contender, especially if the ground's soft like it currently is at the moment. But I really can't see Enflint beating uh, Cracksman tomorrow, so he's going to be the selection there. We then go to the 345 with another kind of favourite again. I know I'm back in a couple of favourites here, but... I think it's definitely the one they've all got to beat. It's Ajman King, round about seven to four best odds I've seen out there at the moment. Trained by Roger Varian, Andrea Azani booked for the ride. This horse won on its reappearance over the course and distance at Epsom towards the end of April. So we know it's uh, got the course form in the bag. That's often a positive at Epsom. And this horse is still only four years old. It's lightly raced. It's going to be seeking a four-timer tomorrow. And I definitely thought it was probably a group horse running in the handicap. So for me, I thought that was quite a good banker bet tomorrow. And probably would be one of my strongest fancies on the card. We then go to the Oaks for my selection. I've already made made a preview about the oak so go back and check it out if you haven't seen it already but my selection and I'm going to have to stick with it but I'm still confident about its chances is for Ever Together trained by Aidan O'Brien but Don Sher O'Brien has been booked for the ride seeming that it's probably the second string of Bally Doyle tomorrow but it ran a really good race in the Chester Oaks last time out on its seasonal reappearance where it didn't get the run of the race that day ran into some traffic 
Hamilton was really staying on well at the end, sharing a really good turn of foot. It should stay really well, and I think even at 6-1, to one, it's definitely going to be a good each-way bet for you, and I think it could maybe improve and maybe overturn uh, the form with Magic Wand, which Ryan Moore has chosen to ride. So that would probably be my number one choice, and it's going to be my final selection for the Oaks at Epsom tomorrow, which is the 4.30 race. We then go to the Surrey uh, Stakes, which again isn't going to be an original choice here. It's a horse called Kingshield we're going for, trained by John Gosden. Ocean Murphy booked for the ride tomorrow in the colours of Qatar Racing. Finished uh, in uh, sixth place in the French 3000 Guineas. Was a little bit unlucky that day, you could argue, where it did run into some traffic and never was able to get a gap through. But that's the way sometimes horse racing goes. I thought it was quite a weak race. Some of the other horses from Godolphin, I thought, were a little bit chancy. But we know King Shield can do it. He didn't make an encouraging seasonal reappearance when he did run at Sandown, suggesting he might be out of form. But he probably needed the run that day. He can be forgiven last time out. Uh, even though he is a short price, I thought he was still the one they all had to beat. And he's run about 13.08, best odds I've seen out there at the moment. We then go to the last race, which is again another competitive handicap. And we're going with a horse we've already uh, mentioned called Rip Off. Now this uh, horse is uh, trained by David Aylesworth and Hayley Turner is booked for the ride tomorrow. This uh, horse won the Victoria Cup at Ascot two starts ago, which was a really good performance. A little bit of a shock that day, but it was a nice performance there. Ran a good race at Newbury last time out. And I thought still this horse was still well handicapped and could still uh, take a good uh, rise this year going forward. And I thought 7-1 and one wasn't a bad uh, each way bet if you wanted it in the race. It's ran on soft ground earlier in the year at Yarmouth where I put in a good performance that day. And I thought really it could uh, make the frame tomorrow and wasn't a bad each way bet. So they would be my selections for all seven races at Epsom tomorrow. Let us know what you're going to be back in tomorrow, what you're going to be back in in the big race, which will be the Oaks. Are you going to be going my selection, something else? Do you fancy Wild Illusion? Or maybe something at a bigger price like Perfect Clarity. I'd like to know your opinions on the Oaks tomorrow. So that's all i got to say. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter at LuckyLoads15. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel here at LuckyLoads15 for, for more horse racing uh, topic videos and betting videos. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also as well, please gamble responsibly. And we'll be seeing you soon.